All right, so this is for Sagittarius, one of my favorite signs. Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon. Hey, Deb. Sagittarius Ascended. Looks like Sagittarius has been putting out some fires, trying to make things right, feeling kind of hopeless. It's just one situation after another. Um, having to deal with people and their poor judgment, or, or what would you call that, uh, greedy judgment. Um, people who don't want to work together, people who don't, um, family members who don't see eye to eye. So Sagittarian, I see you having to deal with stuff that you have dealt with in the past but has now come back and resurfaced. Thanks to Mercury, that's right. But, but, you've got the world card, and I gotta say the world card is an awesome card to have here. Because I see you being very matter of fact. Hey dude, I think you're making a mistake and saying exactly what you think and feel. And I think it's gonna be received in a uh, you know, better than it has been in the past, to be honest with you. So this is a good thing. Uh, Seven of Pentacles is at the top. It says, don't put a whole lot of effort and worry or energy into uh, these situations because they'll unravel at their own pace, in their own way, and you really don't have to put a lot into it. Justice will prevail. No matter which way you look at, justice will prevail. King of Swords is a Libra. Gemini or Aquarius person. I see Queen, Queen and King of Swords. So that shows um, uh, these, this is a couple, some sort of couple. Usually this couple's in your family. Um, and I see some, um, how do I say that? Deception, lies, sneakifying behavior between them, or they are putting it out there in the family. So if you Sagittarian are experience, uh, experiencing family members playing games or um, not being uh, honest, not being upfront, uh, I'm gonna say that, yeah, follow your instincts. I think you're onto something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and be mindful of any paperwork or any um, contracts or anything somebody says, make sure they're gonna stick to it. Uh, because uh, what I'm seeing here are cards that indicate people saying what they think you want to hear and not following through. And this will be an irritation and aggravation for sure. And that'll piss off any Sagittarian. They like things to be simple. All right. Um, something to do with the father, something to do with the father's money, something to do with the leader of the uh, workplace, uh, the fatherly energy. I see good and kind direction and guidance and authority here. Ah! Ooh, you scared the life out of me. <laughs> Somebody just came in my room, scared the life out of me. <laughs> uh, I'm still working on TikTok. I'll, I'll just relax. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just relax. Have a nice moment to yourself. Um, so, yeah, I may have to come back and do the last three. Uh, anyways, um... Where was I? So that really put me off. Oh boy, let me see. Um, oh, okay, so make sure you uh, listen very carefully to what whatever is being said, because um, you could be you could be being sneaked or or lied to or tricked into something. So be really careful and mindful of that, okay? Now, Sagittarian, looks like you've kind of been isolating yourself a little bit, and this is not a good thing. Um, you know, maybe it's time that you stepped out, stepped into a more playful life, a more more um, active, active um, social life. I think it's time for you to do that. And, um, you know, maybe you've had some you know, bad experiences with your family members, bad experience with friends, bad experiences in the past with relationships that took advantage of you or, um, you know, just really didn't uh, serve you in a good way. Then the other thing is it looks like you may have gone through some pretty deep grief uh, about someone or something in your family. Sometimes this has to do with your children, this has to do with your siblings, and I would say that the, this grief is still uh, smudging your, your shiny disposition and you'll be struggling through that for the next little while as well. Sorry, honey. 
<clears throat> uh, you do have skills in some areas that you could probably get um, involved in, <coughs> involved with um, <coughs> uh, work. Maybe you haven't been working a lot or maybe you haven't put a lot of effort into work. Um, and maybe your type of work wasn't acceptable for COVID and the conditions that we were living in. Uh, but now is a good time for you to come out of that and maybe re-instigate it, reshake that surface, reshake that ground and, and get that vibe moving again. I see the Ten of Cups at the top of the, uh, the reading here. Tells me a lot of good things are on your way. Um, there may be some difficulties now, yes, but once these struggles are done and out of the way, I see you emerging with a pretty, pretty good outcome, pretty good uh, relations with uh, the family members that you are good with, uh, pretty good relations with the few friends that you do have or will make. Um, and I see you overcoming the grief. And I mean, yes, it looks like it'll return from time to time, whatever it is. It could be uh, loss, even just loss of what once was in your life and trying to restructure uh, your life in a good way, Scorpio. Uh, I'm not Scorpio, excuse me, Sagittarian. Um, there might be some issues that you have to deal with regarding your mother. <coughs> Maybe some issues you have to deal with regarding uh, a brother. I'm going to say a brother or, or um, some male, like a cousin or something like that in your family. <coughs> So you may have to be working with that. I think, though, by dealing with those issues, you're going to feel stronger and more in tune with yourself. So your health overall, I think, has you know sort of been... I'm going to say your health is more stress-related or more headaches um, with families and that type of thing. As far as money, it doesn't look like you yourself have as much as you want, but you are in an environment that either doesn't cost a whole lot, you may be able to manage it, or someone else is helping, or there's a number of people working together so that there is less expenses. I do see a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, probably a female um, who will... Mm, uh, I'm going to say give you a headache, give you a hard time. Mm -hmm. and this could also be this looks like it could also be let's say let's say um you had a a, a license for something and you want to go to work but you haven't been able to because of covid but now your license is outdated and you have to redo it but the course isn't until January, so that means you can't go do what you wanted to do until until you have the course. So there could be some sort of delay in the workplace and making the kind of money that you're expecting or used to making. So you best sit down and take a good look at what that is and increase your uh, focus on that so that you can fix whatever that problem is. Okay? Hey. Hi. Okay, so we've looked at the finances for um, Sagittarian. We've looked at Oh, we didn't look at love. Let's look at love. Um, I think that most Sagittarians at this point, I'm going to say, are in relationships that maybe aren't, aren't doing them justice, aren't filling their souls. Okay? Sorry to tell you that, but that's what it looks like. There's a codependence. Um, uh, you're in relationship because you have to, not because you want to. You can't get out of the relationship because of commitments, maybe the financial thing, whatever. Um, but yeah, there could be um, constant debates and, and uh, lack of support. This is probably why you don't want to be in that kind of a relationship, but it looks like you have to pretend and you know keep a shiny face while you're in a position you can't move forward. So sorry to tell you that. Um, so we talked about relationships, we talked about money, and health is only stress stuff, okay? Although there could be some weird headaches those, those headaches could be related to your eyesight, so get them checked, okay? All right. So that was for Sagittarian.